This is an out-of-the-box demonstration of the Volunteers for Salesforce personal sites feature. And this is before we've done any customizations. And, and what, what, it, what you're doing is, is uh, this is allowing your volunteers to enter their first name, last name, email, click send. There's other features that can increase the security around this. Uh, what that does is to send them an email. And I'll, I'll show you this on the back side. But just full disclosure, this is the form that I got, which is going to take some formatting to make it work. Uh, but it was able to work and able, able to connect with, with content information. So let me take you through the setup steps just so you see them. And the instructions do a great job of, of, of introducing the concepts, but you're going to have to play with it. So uh, first thing you're going to do is to go to setup. And, and what you're doing is, is going to the email templates and selecting within this folder. So this is the, uh, the volunteers email templates folder. Uh, you're looking for the volunteer personal site contact lookup. Uh, and when you open that, uh, this is what you get. And this is a, a managed template. But what you're able to do is to edit the HTML. And this is there's a, a message in here that is pretty specific. Uh, so what you have to do is I've added in kind of this chunk of code here, uh, which is kind of what they're recommending. So to get there, what you have to do is to click Edit HTML. And what that does is to give you HTML, HTML version, which you can enter here and, and save it, kind of preview it, and work with it from there. Since you're going to be working with this personal site template, it's, it's worth remembering how to go. And if you enter uh, sites here, uh, you can enter into volunteers. And then within the volunteers, if you scroll down, uh, you can actually get to this kind of um, uh, the volunteer personal sites page. Uh, and so here's a, a here the template that you can look at. And what that shows is a little more about kind of the, the code and, and how it's actually built. So the good news is that exists out there. Um, and if what you do is to, to do the kind of the preview here, uh, this is what it shows. Looking at the uh, at the setup and configure instructions, what it does is to show you the iframe that you need to be pulling in. Um, and so what you're able to do with that, if you, if you copy this, and here is how it looked for me. So if we're here, and, and what I'm doing is, is actually uh, entering in, let's see, let's use this one. And um, if what I can do is to go in on this, and what I can do is to enter in kind of the frame that I'm looking for. Um, and then if from here, if what I do is to enter in information. So I've entered Tina Louder's information, and then I can click Send. And what that does is it takes me to my, uh, if I look at the Gmail now for Tina, what I'm able to do is to see that she did get them this message. And notice that it still has, uh, you know, we haven't had them edited it fully. This is, again, just kind of a test. But it does give us a link. It gives us a personalized message. And clicking in on, on this link, uh, what we do is we get this page, which, again, needs a bit of formatting. But what's interesting is, is that we ha are able to see her, her, her scheduled volunteer shifts. And in fact, we have a hyperlink here that we can click on, uh, which takes us to the specific shift uh, that she's involved in. And so there's you know, additional de detail and information that could be shared that way as well. Um, but that's a quick summary. And obviously, lots of formatting. But uh, good luck with this. And give it a try.